Five Republican senators are pushing for travel restrictions on China as health officials track the spread of a respiratory illness gaining traction abroad. While the CDC and WHO are aware and tracking the illness on the rise, some lawmakers are pushing for more. In a letter to Biden, they urge the president to take action now before the virus spreads on a larger scale. News Nation's Elizabeth Pran has more on the surge we're seeing both home and abroad and what officials are doing to stop it. We do not believe this is a new or novel pathogen. We believe this is all existing, meaning COVID, flu, RSV, mycoplasma. CDC Director Mandy Cohen tampering fears as the American public has grown increasingly concerned about the spread of viral infections. Just days after the World Health Organization states there is no evidence of a new pathogen in regions of China. Chinese officials have shared with us that, again, no novel pathogens, that what they're seeing is this. And we were able to corroborate that information um, uh, across other sources from our European Union partners um, and others to make sure that we um, were getting a complete picture. But Republican lawmakers still pushing back. Senator Marco Rubio, along with a group of GOP senators, penning this letter to President Biden, reading in part, we should not wait for the WHO to take action given its track record of slavish deference to the CCP. We must take the necessary steps steps to protect the health of Americans and our economy. This means we should immediately restrict travel between the United States and the PRC until we know more about the dangers posed by this new illness. Families are still triggered. The images of crowded emergency rooms and mask wearing patients reminiscent of early pandemic days. Beijing Children's Hospital reportedly receiving up to 9,378 new patients a day and has been at full capacity for two months. Closer to home, concern is spreading too. In Ohio County, seeing an outbreak of more than 140 cases of pediatric pneumonia in Warren County since August. Doctors also reportedly seeing a spike in Massachusetts. Health officials reiterating to parents that surges in respiratory illnesses are common this time of year. I wouldn't be surprised is that there's um, you're going to see outbreaks throughout the country. It's the, the, it's the time of year. Rather than a cause for concern, it's something to allow us to remember that we do have ability to try to decrease the likelihood of some of the infections. All right, we thank Elizabeth Pran for that. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.